Hello guys, I am Josh A600 and welcome to part 5 of trying all the games on the Meyer K220 in one plug and play. Last uh, last time we left off with number 88 which was a puzzle slider. <laughs> Today we're starting off with Metro Mania number 89. Let's a pickle. Okay. Another power draw game, no code working for the credits. Metro Mania start. Okay, what is this? Big Wheel F1 SV Ferrari. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be Ferrari, but they spelled it wrong. Big Wheel. Whatever. Oh, is this Road Fighter? It definitely looks like a Road Fighter clone. A slow one at that. Yawn. I haven't seen any fuel pickup, or maybe that was a fuel pickup. This is very boring because there's no music. The race is only halfway over. I'm not going to finish the whole thing. I just want to get one fuel pickup and see what happens. There really don't seem to be many of those. I think that was a rock. Didn't want to hit that. Couldn't even if I wanted to, though. We're going to run out of fuel. There's not... Oh. I hit the other car and it, and it spun me out a little bit, but I didn't even fully crash. So I was still able, and I was able to recover and keep going. Is it what is it? Baby's first road fighter. I said I'm not gonna finish the race, but I guess I will. <laughs> but there's no fuel pickup, so it's impossible to actually finish this. I think. Well, that was fun. Next game. Number 90, Mechano. Okay, no code. Oh, it's another Tangrams game. I put, putting the rectangle in the rectangle is wrong? Game over. What? No, not that. I want that. How'd I get it wrong? Good! Oh, every time he plays one shape, it's gonna say that? Really? Oh, dear. Oh, they have different fade-in effects for each one. Let me guess. Oh, so you're supposed to use the red rectangle, not the blue rectangle. How are you supposed to know the difference? They look exactly the same otherwise. How are you supposed to know which one was which? What a stupid game. And pointless, too. Because there's no music and just put shapes on other shapes. Number 91, high card. Home, pre what's pressing home do? Just resets the game. Wars to win. Three, six, nine words out of cards. So the computer's on top. We're on the bottom. This game, this might look a little familiar. Remember that game Animal Contest from a couple episodes ago? I think it was episode two. It's the same game except with cards. That was close. Oh, dear. They, they speak. Oh, let's go to war! And I lose a mouse life, and all the cards go to her. I'll take those. Boring. That was high card. Oh, dear. Number 92, Magic Egg. Okay, no code on this one either. 
Have I seen this one before? Um... I don't know what you're supposed to do. Are you just supposed to punch the monsters as they come out of the egg? What happens if you don't? It escapes. And what? what's this? This is so pointless. So utterly pointless. Next up is number 93, Little Witch. Oh, this one actually has credits. Hey, Little Witch. Based on that map, this looks like a Defender clone. One where the graphics hinder you a lot. Oh my goodness. I... I don't know how this works, actually. Because... Because the way the screen rotates is so messed up. Whatever, it's a very, very poor Defender clone. Next, number 94, Lightning. Okay, no code. Okay. So just hold the button, avoid the cards, and get to the end. But that's kind of hard to do. Because... Things kind of just pop in, and you have no time to react. Nice. Next up is Dringle, <laughs> number 95. What is Dringle? I've not seen this one before. You get to select your stage. Stage one. Oh, it's this game. I've... I have seen this before. I've not seen it as Dringle, and I don't think we've seen it previously on this console. Basically, you push the same type of blocks in to the other type of block. Oh, that didn't work. Yeah, you need to um, save this block right here. I remember that's like the trick for this game, for this first stage. It's very boring. Because once again, there's no music, but you do seem to have you do seem to have people watching you, and the audience barely in the bottom. Stage two, and this is all it is. Oh, and they make the symbols hard to see. Next, that was Dringle. Next up is ninety six Aerial Hero. Oh, I've seen this before. And I never understood it. Um, basically, you aim. There's sometimes things to shoot, maybe. Like this thing. But I can't actually seem to hit it. Because my cross... It doesn't shoot where my crosshair is aiming. Look at that. Because they're always moving, so there's... Oh my goodness. Finally, I shot something! And guess what? You don't have the health bar, so if they shoot at you and you take damage... I don't know how many hits till death. This is... that. That's one of the worst ones I've ever seen. It is not good. Number 97, Aether Cruiser. Hey. What the heck?
I don't understand this. Press up and it looks like you go down. Press down and it looks like you go up. Or maybe that just scrolls the screen, but it doesn't actually make anything change its location relative to you, or your relative, or your location relative to them, rather. Um, I don't know. I don't know if that radar in the bottom right actually works. It seems to be a bunch of nonsense. Stage two, we made it to stage two. That's good. No, it's not. Okay, next day, next game. Jumping kid. Oh, I know this one. This one is very weird. You jump, but if you jump and then hold the direction, you you don't move. To move, you have to direction and jump at the same time. It's very cumbersome. And this is all it is. Amusement Park Jumping Kid. Stage 2. Jump over the elephants. That scrolling brickwork at the bottom kind of hurts my eyes. So, good job, game. And that was stage 2. Let's move on. Next up is number one, or excuse me, number 99, Jump Jump. Hey, look, this sleets.thanks is the art design. It actually has the credit screen, but Jump Jump. Start, I'm pressing the start button. It's not working. So you jump one height. Oh, okay, well, I lost a life. And you can't move until you're done flashing. Oh, look, it's a turtle. <laughs> like, like, couldn't nice did nice code really think this was fun when they programmed this? And why do so many of these games have versions without music? I swore I've seen this before with music. Oh, we have a time limit, too? Ta -da. Time out. Well, we lost. Next game. Next up is number 100, Magic Bubble. I think this is a Tetris clone. Kind of, because you can't... Okay, maybe that is rotating and it just looks odd. I kind of like the music in this one, at least. But the problem is, you can't press down slightly to move it a little bit so you can maneuver it into a thing like this. You have to... Oh my god. And then it... Well, that's a broken Tetris clone. If it gets to the bottom row, you have no time to move it into a space before it screws itself. Well, that's broken. Next game. Dominoes, 101. Game settings, winning score, 100, 200, or 300 points. Let's press the home button. See what happens. It just refreshes like always. Let's just say winning score is 100 points. Games one, pip count, total score. Go on. So right now we're just picking dominoes. I'm just going to keep press. just going to hold the turbo button. So it picks for me until uh, we actually get into the game. Okay, so I'm first. I'm pressing the button, it doesn't do anything. I'm pressing the other button, it doesn't do anything. I wouldn't be surprised if this is a game that used the... Oh, that one worked. Maybe because... I don't know, I don't know how... Maybe I don't know how Domino's works. Maybe the starting tile had to be like the double six or something. I'm not sure. 
I know Mexican Trains has a rule, something similar to that, but that's all I know. Pass. Da 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 da. Total score. Oh, I lost. Oh well. Okay, number one oh two cannonade. More like lemonade. It is Astro Smash from the Intellivision. 100% Astro Smash. An NES port. And Ice Code has done a lot of those, actually. NES ports of Intellivision games. Some of them were licensed, actually. Um, like on a... Like on some actual and officially licensed Intellivision plug and plays. Nice Code was responsible for some of these ports. I've read... That there exists an NES port of Intellivision Tower of Doom by Nice Code. I have not been able to find a co like any footage or ROM of that. I would really like to because Tower of Doom is like my favorite Intellivision game. So I would actually like to see their NES port just to see what they've done. Personally, but other than that, it it's Astro Smash. Number one oh three, Hen and Sons. Hey, remember that pizza delivery game from a few episodes ago? It's the pizza delivery game from a few episodes ago. Just with different sprites. A lot of different sprites. But it's the exact same game. And it still has that weird collision issue with trying to go down this, uh, between two pieces of other collision. Well, that's that. That was Hen and Son. Pen and Sons, excuse me. Number 104, Silent Hunter. It immediately go went past the title screen. I couldn't even input the code. Yeah, there are 220 games on this unit. Yeah, I don't know what this is. The buttons don't do anything. You can con you're the red ship, and I you can control it with your D-pad. Buttons don't do anything. You can pause. This makes no sense to me whatsoever. Honestly, this this is reminiscent of some Atari 2600 game, but don't particularly care. That was yeah, that was a real si yeah. You're a real silent hunter because there was nothing to hunt, and you and you were silent because there was nothing there. Number 105, cute fish. Is it oh, is it memory match? Oh, you have to find the fish that's at the bottom. But it shows you them all, so... It's this. And that's a green happy fish, and, that's, and there's two of each. What's the point? What's the point? Oh, that one wasn't it? Oh, I'm about to run out of time. I've, I've got it. Let's see what happens when you run out of time. And but apparently if you get... Oh, if you get a guess wrong... The hourglass goes down. It didn't even matter. This game has no point. We're moving on. Number 106, Diamond. I know this one. This is a breakout clone. With actually nice music. To win, you don't have to clear all the um, blocks out. You have to hit the diamond with the ball. And it looks like you have infinite lives, but you actually don't. You just have more than six. And only six are shown. So I will show that off. Because I've, uh, I've seen this game before a few times. It's actually one of the better games on this thing. Just because 
It's an, kind of an interesting take on Breakout, I guess. Although it doesn't make much sense what direction the ball goes into. Because look at that. It should have just gone down, but seven went back up. And then I beat the stage. Oh yeah, this stage is terrible. Stage three. See, look, now I'm losing lives. So yeah, you just have you start with more than six, that's all. Okay, next up is. That was Diamond, number 107, Panzer Attack. Okay. Okay, what do you have to do? So you can only shoot once until your bullet disappears. A lot of games on here do that. Oh, you can actually shoot those... The black missiles, but I guess sometimes doesn't always seem to work. Wow, such a fun game. Wow, this thing doesn't die. There we go. Do I move on to the next stage? I do! Stage two! And now there's just four of them! Nope. Hmm. Which button? Okay, that button advances. Okay, next up is 108, Lunarian. This music is not, is not a good sign. I can't tell if this is actually Astro Smash again. It plays similar similarly to it. It has some of its sound effects. But other than that, yeah, it's definitely not Astro Smash. I think we've played a variation of this exact game earlier on this console, actually. Well, that's that was Lunarian. Number 109, Pubble! Okay, Pobble. What does this look like? Did somebody- Oh, actually, no. I was wrong. It's not quite Road Fighter. It's sim it It's the same kind of game. You hold the thing, you don't run out of fuel, don't hit other things, but it's hard to actually avoid hitting things because you go so fast and the thing's just popping on the screen. But it looks like the, the enemies have the same pattern, so if you memorize it, you can get through it. That's boring. So that was... Pobble, number 110, the last game for this particular episode. Already. Polar Bat. Polar Bat. That looks like... A, one of the Kunio-kun guys from Technos Japan. Polar Bat. I don't know what you're actually supposed to do. The snowball ice thing falls down, bounces up for a second, and then rolls. But I'm on stage two. So let's just shoot the birds. Why is this called Polar Bat? And you can jump, but... Is there a point? Uh, you, those are bats. Actually, yeah, they're not birds. They're bats. You're right, Squash. So, bats in the polar region, I guess. Polar bat. Wow. You... Oh, wow! I accidentally hit the reset button! Whatever shall I do except end the episode and then start a, immediately start another one? 
right? <laughs> so yeah, that's it. That's so we are now halfway through this console. We've done 110 of these games, and there's still 110 more. Uh, not quite. Uh, I'll explain in a second. But yeah, so that's it for um, this part five. Wow, this one. This was the probably the worst part so far, actually, with the the, the part with the worst games. Um, the best one was the Astro Smash ripoff because it was an actual game. And yeah, wow. Okay, but ending the recording, not ending the stream. Thank you all for watching. Hope you had a nice time. I'm Josh Six Hundred. See you guys next time. Subscribe to me on YouTube. Follow me on Twitch. We're going to stuff live. And yeah, okay. Goodbye. Thanks for watching.